hello students so today we are going to start with the again accounting from uh, for professionals so we have uh, ended with uh, three problems so today again one problem so related to arpita so dr arpita who is a uh, manglo was a uh, newly started nursing home on 1 for 2018 so following in the receipts and payments account of uh, arpita nursing home that is for the year ending 313 2019 so they have given the receipts and payments account for the year ending 313 2019 so you have payments salary instruments and uh, equipments diet expenses government securities office expenses furniture purchase of medicine closing balance that is cash and bank so you have uh, receipts that is uh, enters from bank fees from patients entrance fees subscription endowment fund miscellaneous receipts so from this receipts and payments account you are going to start uh, that is the uh, give a solution that is uh, having income and expenditure account as well as the balance sheet so here there are some of the adjustments office expenses outstanding so it should be added so that is to the office expenses then subscriptions which is received in advance so it's about the subscription so prepaid so it should be added then donations are to be capitalized so they have given capitalized so it should be uh, taken under the capital means it is in the balance sheet then outstanding subscription which is uh, have 40000 a year stock of medicines that is a closing stock so 4000 then depreciate the instruments as well as the equipments that is by 20% and furniture by 10% uh, so prepare income and expenditure account and also the balance sheet as on 313 2019 so having the receipts and payments account as well as the adjustments so we have to prepare the income and expenditure account that is for the year ended 313 2019 so we'll start with the income and expenditure account so here we got uh, the year ended 313 2019 so we'll have expenses this is about expenditure it's a income this is a column of amount so Here we got our uh, salary. Salary, if there is any outstanding, so you have to add that. So there is no outstanding, so it will be one lakh rupees. Then we have instrument and equipments, that is the balance sheet item. Then you have a diet expenses, so it is our expense. Diet expenses. So that is six thousand. Then you got uh, government securities, which comes under the investment. So that will be in balance sheet asset side, office expenses. So in the office expenses, you got uh, outstanding, some outstanding of uh, ten thousand. So seventy thousand is office expenses. You have to add ten thousand because it is outstanding, outstanding, which. Should be paid so eighty thousand. Then we have uh, furniture. It's a balance sheet asset side. Purchase of medicine. So it is a uh, expense. Purchase of medicine. You are purchasing the medicine. So under the purchase of medicine, we got a uh, closing stock of medicine. So here it should be. Deducted closing shock, uh, stock should be deducted from the purchase of medicine. So twenty four thousand is the uh, purchase of medicine. So closing stock is 
4000 so closing stock of medicine it's 4000 so all together it comes to 20000 next we'll have uh, purchase of medicine closing balance of cash and bank so obviously it comes under the balance sheet okay next uh, we have to see that is assessment so office expenses are over subscription it comes under the income side because it is an income so donations are to be capitalized it's a capitalized capital fund then outstanding it comes under the subscription that is in the income side then we have for uh, okay depreciation so depreciation it comes under the expenses so depreciation on now uh, to depreciation so on a depreciation you got the instrument as well as the equipments so we'll see if the instrument so instrument amount is instrument 2,40,000 so depreciation is uh, 20 percent so 20 percent of uh, 2,40,000 is 2,40,000 is 48,000 so 2,40 into 20 percent so it comes to 48,000 then you have uh, equipments so under the equipments uh, a rate is that is 10 percent so instrument and equipments and the furniture so it's instrument and equipments the next is about the furniture okay so furniture is 10 percent so 1 lakh uh, 20 thousand into 10 percent is 12 thousand okay so in the next class we'll have the income side of the income and expenditure account that is for the year ending 31 3 2019 so thank you